Hello, hello, hello. I'm in the verbling chat you. now. Um, do you see the verbling chat, Anastasia? Well, it's uh, opening right now, but I guess it's not it's not working for me. Hmm. It doesn't work for me right now. Okay. Mm. No, it's not working. Okay. I don't know if it's working or not. Test. Test, test. Okay. I think it's maybe. I don't know. Um, but you can. I'll just check both chats if I can. <laughs> um, but we're doing pronunciation. You can't hear me? Oh. No, we can't. Okay. Oh, you can. Okay. <laughs> Alex, it says you. Okay, it's all good. Um, so we're going to be reading a news article and looking at pronunciation in this class. So to warm up, if you were stranded on an island and you could only bring three items with you, what would you bring? Um, Anastasia. I uh, had problem with uh, chat. Okay, let's go to the Google chat. Hi. Hello. Okay. Um, Anastasia, if you were stranded on a desert island and you could bring only three items with you, what would you bring? Okay, I would bring water, matches, and book. And a book? Yeah, and a book. Okay. okay. And Dodi, what would you bring? Uh, okay, uh, this is warm up or final subject? <laughs> it's a warm up. <laughs> ah, warm up. If, uh, Does it make a difference with the answer? No, no, I mean, for, I want to make uh, some reservation of my energy. <laughs> so, I mean, if I were on the situation in the island, I have to bring my clothes, and if I have first aid kit, I will bring, and last, my money. Money? Yes. <laughs> money what, will on you do with, what will you do with money on a desert island? <laughs> Maybe... In the future, I can use it. <laughs> okay. And it's fiction? Yeah, I guess you never know. <laughs> okay, thank you. you. You can prepare for the future. Um, Ed. Good morning, teacher. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, so if you were stranded on a desert island and you could bring three things with you, what would you bring? Uh, uh, fiction equipment. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Water, um, some kind of food. Okay, fishing equipment, water, and food. Good. Okay, and hi, Hoyan. Hello. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Okay, so what would you bring with you? No, I would bring a blanket. A knife and a computer with Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Tarek, what would you bring with you? Three items. I think uh, the Holy Quran and. Uh, Sorry, say it again. Uh, Holy Quran. The Quran. I can't hear you. Hold on a second. I'm just gonna turn up your volume. Holy Quran. Ah, uh, the Quran. Yes. Mhm. Mm and uh, uh, chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> yes, and I think water. <laughs> and water. Chocolate is a necessity, right? <laughs> yes. For <laughs> protein. Um and hi Bang. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. If you were stranded on a, an island and you could bring three items, what would you bring? Sorry, I don't understand your question. Okay. The first if time you... I joined the, the, the fairbling.com. Oh, nice to, nice to meet you. <laughs> Where are you from? I come from Vietnam. Okay, cool. I'm from Canada. 
Um, so I was asking if you were stranded on an island and you could bring three things, what would you bring? Three things I T-shirt. Business work and and money. What else? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, we'll come back to you, Bang, once you because you're probably figuring out Google Hangouts, so don't worry. Um, okay. Who we haven't heard from? More. What would you bring to the to the island? Um, I will bring uh, uh, my laptop. Okay. You ha you get three things. Oh, three things. Yes. So my laptop and uh, my uh, mobile phone and uh, my wallet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> More, what will you eat? <laughs> You're on an island. Oh. Where, will, where will you plug in your phone? <laughs> How can I what buy something? Yeah, how many I don't think there are any shops on our island, but I guess you never know. I would bring um, fishing equipment and a machete and hmm, blanket. Me. <laughs> and Toyin, because Toyin brought a blanket. So, uh, what yes. is the machete? Uh, yeah. I'll show you. Like this. Oh, machete. It's called in, Ispan in Spanish, I guess. Machete. Yeah. Yeah, machete. I know the word machete, but <laughs> I don't know this one. <laughs> That's interesting. Yes. So I could open coconuts and kill pigs and that sort of thing. <laughs> So, yes, that's what I would say. Um, okay, so I was asking you because the topic for our article today, um, Castaway tells tale of 16-month Pacific survival. So we're going to learn a little bit about someone's survival tale. You'd bring a lot of batteries. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to survive, so I'm going to bring, like, things I can kill animals with, and, you know. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. So uh, there's lots of vocabulary up here. Um, you can take a look at it after class if you want. Today we're focusing on reading and pronunciation. I'm just going to zoom in. Um, and here's the link to the article. Uh, yes, it's for self-defense. I actually know how to use a machete fairly, fairly well. I learned in karate. Mm. Uh, okay, so you will take turns reading, and I'll give you some tips on your pronunciation. So, Anastasia, you can go first. You can just read from the title mm, down to the end of number one, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Castaway tells tale of a uh, 16, 16 months Pacific survival to revival life of P. Uh, Jose Ivan found washed up in a boat on Marshall Islands, lived on a diet of hand cut birds and turtles in properly less boat. Um, 21st January 2014, went to uh, islanders uh, spotted a small uh, fiberglass boat washed up on a remote Pacific atoll. They decided to take a close look. What they found inside was a table of adventure and unlikely uh, survival to revival the uh, blockbuster book and film Life of P and emaciated man with long hair and a bird. 
uh, who claimed to have been drifting for 16 months after setting out from Mexico, more than uh, 12,500 kilometers away. Good. Okay. Some words for you. Uh, can you read the first one? Okay. Propellerless. Yeah, propellerless. Propellerless. Whenever you have less at the end of a word, it's pronounced more like less by the time you get there. Okay. <laughs> so instead of propellerless, you say propellerless. It just sounds more natural. Okay. Propellerless. Good. And the next one? Washed. 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 It's the ah uh, vowel. Ah, uh, wa, washed. Washed. Mm hmm Blockbuster. Block. Ah. Uh, again, the same vowel. Okay. Block. Block. And then buster. Ba, buster. Blockbuster. Good. So it's like... Like that. <laughs> okay. Block. Block. Buster. Yes. Buster. That was perfect. Can you say it quickly? Blockbuster. Good. Better. Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Okay. Um, the next one is pronounced pie. Pie. Okay. In like English, three point one four one five nine da 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 da. In in Russian, it's pronounced p. So it's okay. yeah. Okay. Pie. pie. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Bird. Beard. 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 Yeah. You know. Beard. beard. Like. Yeah. Sounds like <laughs> beer. <laughs> yeah, beard. like beer with a d at the end. Okay. Beard. <laughs> so now very I know. good. Mostly just like some vowel problems, really. Everything else sounds is sounding really good. Uh huh. So, Thanks. Yeah. Good. Um. Okay. Bang. Would you like to try the next one? Bang. Okay, Dodi. Yes, teacher. Okay, can you read number two for me, please? Okay, up to where? Number two only? Yeah, number two. Okay, thank you. The man dressed only in a, rag, a ragged fur of underpants told his rescuer that he had been adrift in the in the seven point three meter fiberg fiberglass boat whose engine were missing their propellers. Since he left Mexico for El Salvador in September 2012, a companion had died at sea several months earlier, he said. Okay, there's a few. Can you read the first one? A drip. Sorry, one more time. A drip. Your your microphone is you're cutting out, Dodi, so I can't hear you. <laughs> um, sorry, can you say it again, Dodi? Okay, a drip. Good, a drift. So you're drip. you're rolling your R. You're doing a, your R. Your tongue is touching up here. You're doing a a. a ah, I can't. Do uh -huh. it. A drift, like that. <laughs> Your ah. tongue is tapping, um, and it shouldn't. So you have to try to... A drift. A drift. Dr drift. A drift. Good, that's a little bit better. So to get this sound correct, a you drift. have to hold your tongue, try to um, keep your tongue from tapping up here. Dr dr a drift. Uh -huh. A drift. A drift. Okay, can you try the next one? A drift. A drift. Good. And the next word? Dead. Died. Fiberglass. Um, sorry, back to died. 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 It's a long died. I sound. Die. Died. Died. Yes, good. And then the next died. one? Died. I think there's a delay. <laughs> fiberglass. Uh, yes, good. Fiber. Yeah, fiberglass. Fiberglass. 
Okay. Several. 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 Yes, it looks like several, but it's pronounced sev-ral. Several. Several. Uh, sever. Several. 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 Se yes. Yeah, it's like two uh, syllables. Several. Mm -hmm. It looks like three, but it sounds oh, like okay. two. Okay, I got Okay, very good, Jody. Sorry, I feel uh, like there's... Okay, I got it. I feel like there's um a, a delay, maybe. <laughs> so it's a little bit awkward. I um, okay. Good, Dodie. Um, okay. I will go out, then I will come back. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that was confusing. <laughs> okay. Ed, are you ready? <laughs> yes, teacher. <it's just. laughs> like, ah. Okay. Um, here we go. Ed, Number can two, you... Right. Oh, yours is long. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. Number three. Okay. His condition isn't good, but he's getting better. Say, hola, festat. A New Regan anthropology student doing research of the isolated Ibon Atoll, part of the Marshall Island archip archipelago. The man had said his name was Jose Ivan, and he had indicated that they survived but by catching turtles and birds with his bare bare hands, but because he spoke only Spanish. Further details were sketchy. There was no fishing equipment on the boat, but a turtle was inside when it washed up. The boat is really scratched up and looks like it has been in the water for a long time. First that told Reporters. Good. Okay. Can, I take this out? Um, can you read the first one for me there in the chat? I I can see. You can't see it. Uh. -uh. Okay. Hold on. I'll do it this way. Mm. Better. Just a sec. Sorry. I'm just gonna highlight them. There's one more. Okay, there we go. Um, yes, the first one? Better. Good. So when you have ER at the end, it's not pronounced like um, air, it's pronounced like er, better. Better. Good, better. Not better, better. 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 Good. Um, the next one? Said. Yes, it's actually, um, it looks like said, but it's pronounced said. Said. Okay. Said. Yes. Said. said. Mm -hmm. Then it was isolated. 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 So you're emphasizing the I. Isolated. Okay. Isolated. Good. Perfect. Now, um, can you read both of these? Bird. And... Bear. Good. So there's a different vowel, right? The first one is bird. Bird. Uh huh. Er, and the second one is bear. Bear. Bird. Okay. Bear. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, the other one is looks. Yeah, looks. It's this looks. Uh, uh sound. Hold on. Looks. Okay, teachers. Thank you. Looks. 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 Yeah. Looks. Okay. It's the same sound in like could and would. This uh uh. Look. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thanks. Okay, great. Um, okay, how do I pronounce your name? Giacomo? <laughs> Giacomo. Giacomo. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Giacomo. Giacomo. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Okay, nice to meet you. I was just having fun trying to pronounce your name. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. We're on number four. According to the research, the researcher, the Highlander who found the man who came to the main island in the hotel, which is so remote, 
It has only one phone line and no internet. With the mayor, Lon de Broom, who contacted the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Majuro, the Marshall Island capital. Officials at the ministry said said that they were awaiting more details and expected the man to be taken to the capital. Oops, sorry, I was muted. <laughs> okay, good. Um, one general thing is that you're sometimes adding a syllable to the end of your words, like um, man or main island, like you're adding this sort of uh sound at the end, um, and you don't want to do that. It comes from your Italian. <laughs> but in English, um, you shouldn't do that. Try to finish your words without adding this uh, uh, this extra syllable at the end, okay? Um, so, for example, maybe we'll just do the first line. So I'll read it, and then I want you to repeat it um, and try very hard not to add any syllables, <laughs> okay? Um, according to the researcher, the islanders who found the man took him to the main island in Atoll, in the Atoll. Okay. Can you repeat it for me? According to the researcher, the islanders who found the man took him to the main island in the Atoll. Good, much better. Very good. Um, so then the two other words were islanders and capital. So, Islanders. Yes, Islanders was fine. So, with capital, make sure you're doing the I sound, your short I, not E. It's not capital. Capital. It's cap capital. Capital. Good. And can you read this word, ministry? Ministry. Good. It's the same I sound. Ministry. Ministry. No E sounds. Okay? Great. Any questions? Teacher, we have a lot of noise behind the microphones. Yeah, it's Giacomo's background noise, but that's okay. All right. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Um, okay. Who is next? Huyen. Yeah. I'll try my best to find something for you. <laughs> okay. We'll see if we can fix your flow, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, go the ahead. Government, the government airlines only plane that can land at Erben is currently undergoing maintenance and is not expected to return to service for several days. Officers are considering sending a boat to pick up the to pick up the castaway. He's staying at the local council house, and a family is feeding him," said Fieldstead, who added that the man had a basic health, had a basic health check, and was found to have a low blood pressure, but did not appear to have a, but did, not, did not appear to have any life-threatening conditions, and was able to walk with the aid of men on the island. We've been giving him a lot of water, and he's gaining strength. Good, very good. Uh, your flow is actually a lot better, especially kind oh. of this half. It seemed better than the first half. Um, good. Okay, so just two words. There's maintenance. Oh, so you have maintenance? Yeah, so it, it's got this 10 in the middle, right? Um, yeah. But it's not pronounced. So there's no maintenance. It's maintenance. Maintenance. Oh, kind of sounds God. like this maintenance. Yeah, maintenance. Okay. Um, and then the other one was this word. Officials. Good. Officials. Officials. Okay. Watch your L a little bit. Officials. Officials. Good. That was much better. Officials. Um, that was pretty much it, I think. There's one other one. I think kneading or something. Feeding. Can you read that one? Feeding. Feeding. Good. Fine. 
Okay, very good. So just a few little things, and you're starting, it's starting to flow a little bit better, like blend together. You're still getting kind of stuck sometimes, but that's, I think, because you're reading quickly. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Very good. Watch for this time. Good. Um, so maybe just be, yeah, just your L at the end. Words like toll, mm, local. Try, try those three. Toll, stroll, fall. Okay, perfect. It's fine. Good. Okay, very good. Um, Hoyan has great pronunciation, eh, guys? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. More, are you ready? Yes, yes, I'm ready. Okay, you got number six. It's another longer one. <laughs> okay. So, let me read that. Okay, first question. Who teaches um, maritime survival courses at his coastal survival school in Dosa? Said the man's story. If true, would be remarkable but far from unique. It was entirely possible to catch turtles or small fish by hand, he said. Um, he said, since they are um, inquisitive and they will approach a small boat to shelter uh, underneath it. <coughs> and Christian devices, clients who find themselves forced to eat turtles to start with their eyes and lots of fluid, um, they move on to the blood. <coughs> Very good. Okay. Uh, this man's story. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. What does exactly mean? Uh, they move on the blood. Move on to the blood. Yes. Okay. So here. So the context. whole sentence says, um, Christian advises clients who find themselves forced to eat turtles to start with their eyes. Uh -huh. So eat the turtle's eyes first, and okay. then move on to the blood. So first the eyes, and next you go to blood. Okay. To move on to something is like to do it next. Okay. Um, I hope you never have to eat turtles. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of disgusting. Um, okay, more. So can you read the words for me? Um, yeah, pink highlighted, you mean? Yeah, in the pink. Oh, yeah, it's a man's story. It, uh, hold on, there's... Good, so when you have um, two S's beside each other, like this, mm -hmm. um, you can blend it and pretend there's only one S. Man's story. Oh, man's story. Yeah, exactly. So the words just stick together, man's story, instead of man's story, um, and that will flow more naturally. Same with other consonants when they're beside each other. They blend together. Um, I don't know if there's any other examples here. Uh, oh, yeah, down here. Eat turtles. It turns into one T almost. Okay. okay? Instead eat of turtles. eat turtles, you'd say eat turtles. Eat turtles. Yeah, so they blend together. Um, good. Uh, what about the next two pink words? Okay, the first one you see is fish. And the second one? Second one. Seems. Okay, so just watch your eye. You're doing this E still a little, and you should be doing your short I. I, fish, since. Fish, since. Good, that was better. So just watch that a little bit. You were doing it kind of throughout where you're often sort of somewhere in between the I and the E. You're like... Fish, fish. <laughs> so it's almost right, but not quite. So just uh, be careful about it when you're reading, okay? Um, very good, Moore. If people eat turtle soup. Oh, yes. 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 Oh, I've never heard of turtle soup. That sounds very unfortunate. It's <laughs> <laughs> like delic uh, delicacy. You say, like, it's um, not, like not every day. It's like really fancy food. Okay, let me see it. I'm salty, too. Oh. Oh, it's a luxury. 
Yeah, it's kind of flag stretch. So there. Oh, it's stuck in the United there. States, but I guess we don't really have it in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. Those crazy Americans. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I live in America, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Who does? Who's that? Yes, I live in America. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, we We're allowed to, to tease each other. We Canada, not the United close States. To, to Houston, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it? We do have turtles close to, to Houston, Texas. Okay. I've never been to Texas. Okay. I hear it's very warm. Uh, right now we are in the 50s, but it's very, very hot uh, around June, July, August, September. You know, we have pain. a lot of stereotypes about Texas. Excuse me? I said we have a lot of stereotypes. <laughs> yeah. Texas oh, loves yes. themselves a lot. Yeah, there's lots. You are right. <laughs> I won't get into them. <laughs> <laughs> but just know that there are many, many stereotypes, and I'm sure that none of them are true. <laughs> no, some of them are really true. I have a friend. He's uh, from Texas. Uh -huh. really? like he all the time said, like, I'm from Texas, yeah, like, he's real proud of it, and tell everyone <laughs> about that one. <laughs> yeah, we say go big or go home. Big or what? Big or ego. Go big or go, go big home. Big or go home. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> they say everything's bigger in Texas. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's true. It means, like, <laughs> food, like... You know, I would have a burger that's this big, and if I go to Texas, it's this big. <laughs> yes. Also, a couple of weeks ago, I went with friends, and a special restaurant when you find um, burgers of camels, and snakes, and birds, of ants, um, every kind of You're hamburger eating? that you... Yes. You're eating snakes? Yes. Very special <laughs> hamburgers. Thank you. So, yeah. Look, I got a coffee. Oh. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> My dad just brought me a coffee. Have you guys ever seen these cups before from Canada? No. Mm -hmm. no. So, no. I don't know if you can see. It says Milan. roll up the rim. Uh -huh. So after you drink your coffee, you roll up the rim okay. of the coffee and you can win. You can win prizes. Oh, yes. You can win Did coffee. You, win? you can win a car. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Thank Did you win anything? <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know, maybe I'll win a car today. Maybe. <laughs> if Why I not? do, you'll see me not in class because I'll be going to get my car. <laughs> uh, I see, teacher. Okay. Uh, all right. So, oh, I was going to ask Ed, so have you ever had turtle soup, Ed? Excuse me, teacher? Have you ever had turtle soup? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, when, um... Uh, in the past, I used to live in, in South America, so I have many opportunities to to try a uh, turtle soup. Okay, so turtle soup is popular in South America too. It's not popular. It's expensive and special uh, dish. Mm, it it said it was a delicacy, right? So it's yeah. kind of fancy. Yeah. Vodka with snake in China. Oh my God. I don't know it's exactly because I know some of my friends, they bring uh, vodka with s snake there, like, you know. And I was shocked when I saw this. And Let me see but if they can... bring it from China. I don't okay. know. Let's take a look. Or maybe it wasn't vodka, maybe some other alcohol drinks. Oh. Yes, it was like that. Yeah, it was like that. It's... Oh my gosh. That was <laughs> horrible. Would anyone try this? Uh, I didn't ask because I was like very afraid and I was go away, get away from them. Oh my gosh. And here there's scorpions too. Oh really? You see them? Yeah. Vodka with scorpions. When, when I see that, I'm really afraid of uh, uh, cops um, of the I like to drink uh, alcohol. Yeah. Would anyone try scorpion vodka? No. No. Even yeah, with a spider. 
What is, what is the purpose for medicine? Purpose? No, it just they drink it. Like oh, yeah? Usual, yeah. Uh -huh. like Scorp usual, Scorpio yeah. vodka. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I've heard of tequila with worms in it, but... <laughs> <gasps> oh, really? I never heard about that one. No? No, I'm never. I'm sure Ed has heard of this, right, Ed? Yep. From South America, you guys have lots of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has anyone else heard of um, tequila with worms? You know? Mm, yeah. There's even pictures of tequila worms. Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this person has the tattoo. That's uh. I live close to Mexico. It's very popular. Oh look, <laughs> the dumb tattoo club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very funny. <clears throat> yes. Okay, Vietnam has them too. Uh, Vietnam has what, Hoyen? We have snakes and alcohol, you know, not specifically vodka, but, you know, you we know? put snakes in alcohol and then they drink the, the wine or the alcohol. Is there a reason why? No, they think that is kind of drug that helps yeah. you know, you feel better. Vodka is actually very popular in Vietnam. Yeah, I, um, I usually um, the uh, um, person, yeah, country person uh, use a snack with alcohol, but I never try it. Mm. I don't know if I would try it. It says the drink was first recorded to have been consumed in China, um, considered an important curative, and it should invigorate, reinvigorate a person. So it's I supposed to be I like a healing, know, a healing sort of I thing. Think, uh, alcohol with snack is very helpful for uh, our health. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anastasia makes a good point. Like, <laughs> yeah, oops, don't reinvigorating. <laughs> Because you're drunk. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we're... You're still cutting out, Tran. Your, I, your microphone is doing the same thing as last week. Um, did you adjust the bandwidth up here? You click... There are four little bars like this. Click on it and drag it all the way to the left. Wait, this way. <laughs> I don't know which way. Yeah, maximum bandwidth. Yeah. If you drag it all the way to the lowest one, then it might be a little bit better. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, so I think we're at Tarek, right? Tarek? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, yes. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> easy, man. Easy, easy, man. Yes. He's afraid, I think. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, Chuck, go ahead. You're, uh, we're at number seven. Okay. The major problems the men would have faced were exposure and uh, dehydro de dehydration. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. dehydration. The basic uh, rule is uh, no water, no food. You need water to uh, digest pro uh, protein if you have uh, no fresh water and it doesn't rain for a few days, so you can't collect the rain water. You have basically had it. Individual uh, physi uh, physiology also plays a part he said with some people better suited uh, to survival than others. The mental thing is key and that's often down to people's uh, situation in life and how used uh, they are uh, they are to delay uh, to dealing uh, men mentally uh, mentally with uh, hardship. Very good, very good. Um, I just want to point something out right here for everyone. Um, 
I'm sure you know used to, right? Used, used to the phrase? Mm -hmm. Like I used to dance when I was a kid. Um, you can also use used to to show that you've adjusted to something over time. Um, and when you use it that way, you can actually put <sighs> words in between the phrase. So you don't have to use used to beside each other. You can split them up. Um, how used people are to dealing mentally. How used they are to. Um, so it means people or they are used to dealing mentally with hardship or how used they are to dealing da 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 da. They're both correct so you're allowed to split it up. Um, just something to point out. You don't see it you, done that often so um, okay, Trek, I've got some words for you here. I'll put them in yellow. Uh, first, um, intonation. So, for example, in this sentence here, um, you want to be careful about your intonation, so how your voice is raising and falling when you're reading the sentence. Um, when you have these like two commas surrounding something in the middle of a sentence, that affects your intonation, how you're pronouncing the words. So I'm going to read it once, um, and I want you to repeat it back to me, okay? So individual physiology also plays a part, he said, with some people better suited to survival than others. So when you have this, it's like an aside, a little bit of extra information. So individual physiology also plays a part, he said. Da 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 da. So you kind of pause here, um, and your voice drops a little bit on he said, and then it goes back up. Okay. Okay. Tr give it a try. Individual physiology also plays a part, he said. With uh, with some uh, with some uh, people better suited to survival than others. Good, that was much better. That was much better. Okay, very good. Um, okay, and then we've got some words. This one. And one more. Ah, there it is. Okay, the blue words. Can you read the first one for me? Dehydration. Good, I just wanted to review it. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Dehydration. Okay, and the next one? Uh, uh, is uh, G silent? Uh, yeah, di digest. Digest? Digest. Digest protein. Digest protein. Good. And the next one? Physiology. 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 Good. So you you actually do have to pronounce this I, and it's one of the rare times where it's being pronounced like E. <laughs> Physiology. 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 Perfect. Very good. And the last one. Uh, okay. Men mentally. Good. Mentally. Mentally. Yeah, you're emphasizing the first syllable. Men. Mentally. Mentally. Yeah. Mentally. Good. And when you have tally like this, it's actually pronounced more like tully. Mentally. Mentally. Good. Very good. Okay. Great. Good job. Um, okay. Who's next? Tran, I hope this works. <laughs> I hope it works. Okay, Tran, we're on number eight. Uh, story of uh, survival in the last passage causing a lot uncommon in the anti out three men men can make international headlines when they were discovered drifting also in in the small people flat out near the Marshall Islands. They claim to have a survive for nine months on the diet on rain weather, grow fish and uh, deer birds with their hope keep alive by reading the Bible. But Cliff 
that okay. who teach these survival to start a festival, festival capsule about the last detail. It just doesn't sound right to me. There are 1,000 out of 1 hazards. That would make the that would make his survival for long very unfriendly. But would want to know a lot more. Okay, very good. Yeah. Um. Which uh, you can uh, see the link of Pokemon. Yep. Yeah, I can. Um, yeah, okay, so do you see it? I highlighted the words and I put them in the chat box. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay, can you read the first one for me? Yeah, um, you can give me uh, the link of document. Ah, so, sure. So uh, I, I can jump up before that, before I read. Yeah, there you go. Um, and Tran, you're <laughs> everyone just be patient. <laughs> Tran, your voice is still very choppy. But I'm doing my best. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Can you read the first one for me? In the chat? Tran? Tran? Are you there? I think that we lost him. Okay, I think we lost him. Okay, we'll come back to Tran later. Um, I'll keep the words highlighted. So, Mr. Wanderson. Okay, I'm How here. are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, let's see. How much can you... Mm. Okay, let's get you to read maybe three of these bullet points under more castaways. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Okay. More castaway. Po Li, a Chinese sailor from a rich ship sunk by a German submarine in 1942, survived on on 133 days on a wooden half floating in the South Atlantic before being rescued by Brazilian fishermen <coughs> in in nineteen seventy one experienced Scotch sailor Douglas Hot Hot and his family were sailing to the Galapagos Islands from Panama when their boat was sunk by killer whales. They survived 38 days on a lifeboat before being rescued by a facing fishing trawler. Good, very good. Okay. In, okay, okay. I'm going to stop you there. Um, okay, so the first thing that I noticed is your ED endings need a bit of work. So words like rescued, survived, um, experienced. You're doing this id. You're going survived, rescued, experienced. Um, and that's not how it's supposed to be pronounced. So I'm just going to give you an article here that you can review. Um, and it goes through how exactly to pronounce these ed endings. But as a general rule, this id sound only used when the word ends in T or D, like wanted and needed. The rest of the time, um, it's a D or a T sound, survived, rescued, experienced. So you don't usually add that id at the end, OK? Um, and that, if you go through that link I sent you, um, it goes through each of the sounds, when to use them, and that sort of thing. So it should it should help you. Um, okay. Sunk okay. submarine. 
Maybe I'll get you to read some of them so I can hear you. And then... Okay. Can you read these words for me? The first one? Sunk. Sunk. Good. Good. So it's an uh sound. Sunk. Sunk. Uh. Sunk. Sunk. Good. Okay. And the next sunk. one is the same uh sound. Okay. Sub. 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 Submarine. Good. Submarine. Submarine. Good. Submarine. Sub. Remember, it's su uh, not u, not submarine. Submarine. Okay. Submarine. Submarine. Perfect. Submarine. Very good. Very good. The next one. Sur survive. Survive it. Good. So don't do the id. It's just survived. Hello? Survived. Good. Survived. Okay, and the next one? So, uh, so. Good, so, so this is an ow sound, south. Um, might want to so. uh, watch my mouth. So it's ow, ow, south. So. Good, better. So it's like an ow sound, south, south. South. Perfect. South. That was perfect. Very good. Um, and what's your TH, too? When you make your TH, it's here. South. 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 Good. South. Good. Okay. Mm. Rescued. Rescued. Very good. Rescued. Perfect. So you see, again, there's no id, right? No rescued. Just rescued. Rescued. Perfect. And same with this one. There's no id sound at the end. It sounds like a T. Experienced. Experience. Experience. Good. Experienced. Good. Um, there were two more down here. One and... Ah, okay. Can you try the next one? Killer, 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 eh, eh, killer, killer. Good, not killer, right? So it's the short I that is sound killer. Killer. Killer whale. And one more word. Passing, passing. Pass, passing. Passing, passing. So again, this ing, it's not ing, it's like ing. Ing. Passing. Passing. Very good. Passing. Very good. Very, very good. So, Wonderson, for you, you want to work on your ED endings and your short I sound. The I, ship versus sheep. Um, let me find. One second. Here you go. Ship or sheep. Dot com. <laughs> if anyone else needs practice with that, <laughs> shippersheep.com is good because you, you can click on it and it will actually play the sound for you. <laughs> okay, so, thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> um, Tran, is it working? Are you back? Tran? Okay, I'm muting. Okay, make sure you adjust your bandwidth because it's very hard to hear you, okay? Um, yeah, I've been um, getting good better. Okay, so try the first word on the screen. Yeah. Discovery. Discovered. Cover. Discovered. Discovered. Yeah. Uh, fibre glass. Good. Fiberglass. Fiberglass. Yeah, it's not fiber, it's fiber. Fiberglass. Yeah, fiberglass. Good. And the next one, um, this S is silent. Okay, keep that in mind. The first S, we don't hear it. I hear Iceland. Good, but it's a silent S, so it's pronounced islands. 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 Mm -hmm. Islands. Yeah. Great, great. And the next one? 
fish. Fish. So you're doing that e sound. It should be fish, not fish. Fish. Yeah, yeah. Fish. Fish. You might want to go to uh, shiporsheep.com as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> practice. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next one. Cap. Cap. Eh, eh. Cap. 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 Much better. Yeah. Kept. And Kept. it's the exact same sound in this next word. Same sound, okay? Yeah. Uh... Skeptical. Good. And remember, it's the I, not E, so skeptical. 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 Very good. Very good. Okay, good yeah, job, Chan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, and I think... I think that we, have, we do have time. Yes, that's out of time. Yeah. There's just three more bullet points, but we're running out of time, so... Um, so, <laughs> what did you think of the article? Do you think you would survive if you were stranded for, how long was he stranded? He said, mm, 16 months. Do you think you would survive? Wow, yeah, that's possible. I don't the know. The spin of the island. <laughs> possible, if he does, why not me? Yeah. It depends on the island? Yes, yeah. Yeah, I guess it depends on what kind of food you can find and that sort of thing, right? Mm -hmm. I think I would survive if I had my machete. <laughs> <laughs> or you can, like, make a spear, too. Does anyone watch the television show Survivor? Yes. No. I've been watching it since the first season, and it's on season, I think, 27 now. So uh -huh. I'm, like, a diehard Survivor fan. <laughs> so, I think I would survive, but I don't know. It's they, they give them a lot of things like rice and lots of stuff, so it's not really surviving. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, you have the document. If you want to do some more practice, there's lots of great exercises, okay? There's vocabulary, comprehension, um, collocations. There's all sorts of stuff there for you. Yeah. Um, Okay, so I'm teaching the next two classes. The next one is co conversation about pandemics and then um, a reading class. So maybe I'll see you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, don't help. Yeah, Teacher, let me know uh, you own the car. Yes, I'll let you know. I can't, I can't roll it up yet because my coffee's still full. So I'll probably okay. roll it up next class and you'll see. But I don't think I'll win a car, but you never know. Cross your fingers. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank um, you. Okay. Thanks, Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.